Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at how you set up and use push notifications in the uh, platform. So it is uh, in the uh, back office of the app admins uh, where you would log in and you see it under the campaigns uh, notifications. You click on notifications, you get to the screen. Uh, right here, let me explain what this is. This is for the hub. So admins are able to uh, create um, a tab in the app that only the admins can see and whatever email IDs you add here will have access to that tab. And what that tab does is allows the admins to, to create and send push notifications right through the app. So right from their phones without having to log into their back office. So this is what that's for. You separate them by a comma, you can have multiple emails in this, uh, in this box. Uh, so let's look at uh, how you send the push notification. Right up here, you see the add new button. You click on that and you're brought to the screen. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You can give it a title. Uh, all this stuff needs to be filled out. So I'm just going to put, you know, info here. You select a date. So there's two things here. If you wanted to do for today's date, you would select your current date. If you're doing it for a date in the future, you could select a date in the future. Um, so I'm going to do for today's date. So today is the 26th. Uh, I would select a time. If it, it, the time is not relevant because we're sending it today. So I'm just going to select any time. Uh, your, your time zone is right there. Your reward levels, you're able to segment your database by reward levels. So if you've got different reward levels, say you want to send it only to your best customers, you can do that. Uh, in this example, I'm just going to select all. You're also able to segment by location. So if you've got multiple locations, you can select all or one or the other. So if you've got one on, for example, the East Coast and one on the West Coast, um, you may not want to send push notifications at the same time to those locations. 9 a.m. would on the East Coast would be 6 a.m. on the West Coast. So that's what that's for. You can segment by locations or all. So I'm going to put all locations here for now. Tags are also um, a way for you to segment the database. So in the customer profile, you're able to set up tags and uh, the customers are uh, able to select the tags that they want to be associated with. So uh, you'll be able to set, you know, whatever tags you had set up, you'll be able to segment that way as well. Uh, the title is just going to be, you know, whatever I'm going to put here, sale, uh, start date. So start date and end date. What that means basically um, when this, uh, this notification should appear in the app. So I'm sending the push notification today. So I'm going to put today as a start date and the end date would be when the notification should no longer be displaying in the notification screen of the app. So each of the apps have the ability to have a notification screen and when your users click on it, all of the notifications that you've sent would populate in that screen. They'd be able to click on it and see it. So if you put um, tomorrow, for example, and you send the push notification today, on the 28th, they would no longer be able to see the push notification in their push notification screen. Okay, so this has to be at least one day apart which is fine, so I'm going to make it tomorrow's date so you can see it's one day apart. There's instructions right here. Uh, the short description is what shows up on the screen of the uh, locked phone. So I'm going to say, you know, huge Black Friday sale. Okay, and you'll see now when I've done that, you can see that here on the screen. Now you've got two options. You're able to type in a text message right here, whatever you type or you're able to send an image, uh, one or the other, not both, okay? And if you want to browse, you can uh, create an image 300 by 400 pixels, which is right here, um, and you can send an image. And you can actually put your messaging on the image. It looks a lot more professional. So we've got a couple of examples in, the, in an image library that we've got here. So, you know, we've got uh, Merry Christmas sale, Black Friday sale, another sale. So uh, I'm going to select this one and hit the active button. And also, when I'm sending an image, uh, I'm able to put a URL. So let's say I was highlighting a product in, in the push notification. I've got these new shoes for my shoe store. Um, I could send an image of that, sh uh, of that exact same shoe and put the URL for it uh, to be, when they click on the image, it will go to that URL on the website and you'd be able to actually buy the shoes right through the push notification. So I'm going to leave this blank for now. I'm just going to hit submit. And now the push has been set up and you can see it. the Black Friday sale is there. Uh, it's, all, it's all set. And all I got to do now is click the push link whenever I'm ready to send it out. So I will do that now and it will go out. There's uh, the information right here. You can see it's been last sent on 26th of November and you can see two people it's been sent to uh, in this uh, demo app. So that's how you set up the push notifications. Again, if you're setting it up for a later date, all you would need to do is uh, select the date, um, whatever the date would be, and then the time. So I want it to go out at uh, you know 1 p.m., do that and it will be set to do that on that date. Um, this one's already been set, so we can see the next push date would be right here. Okay, so that's how that's uh, set up. 
and that's how push notifications are used. Thanks for watching.